Okay, guys, just a quick video to um, show you what I've been playing around with. Uh, basically, I was asking myself, how can we use OpenAI uh, block uh, in a typebot flow, but still uh, continue the typebot flow once we've asked questions to um, the OpenAI block, the chat completion uh, task? Uh, is it possible to take um, back the control of the flow? So I've been setting up uh, this a quick example. The idea is that imagine you are um, someone who's uh, selling a piano course and you want to qualify your lead. Uh, so maybe you'll uh, ask for the name as a first question, then collect uh, the email. And then you want to learn more about your user um, experience with the piano. So maybe you want to ask for a first question that will say, uh, how many years have you been playing the piano? Then you collect uh, the user uh, answer. Uh, and you save it into a variable called uh, brackets user uh, piano experience. And then you can add this OpenAI block that will basically uh, ask follow-up questions on uh, the user experience with the piano so that you have more valuable questions. And here is uh, the configuration for this. So the idea is to add a first user message as if the user asked for uh, ChatGPT to do something. Uh, so you are going to ask me questions about my experience with the piano. Make me reveal more about what I've already said. Uh, try to extract the most information possible from my answers. Once you've asked for four questions, clearly say, OK, next question. Then we are just hard coding the first question that we've been displaying here. Just a, an assistant message that says, how many years have you been playing uh, the piano? And then we parse the uh, follow-up message sequence. So the user messages and the bot uh, messages. We save uh, the bot uh, new message into uh, the, this variable. And then that is where it's interesting. You can just add uh, below the, your OpenAI block. You can add um, a condition block that says, if one of the uh, bot messages contains, OK, next question, then we just continue our flow. We just go to the next uh, group in that case. Otherwise, we just continue uh, this group and we display uh, the new uh, bot message. And then we ask again for uh, the user uh, answer. So we're, we have an infinite loop here that I'm highlighting. Uh, so from this, we go back there, we create a new chat completion. Then we have this condition. If this condition uh, is true, then we go to the buy group. And that's how we can ask maybe three to five questions to open, uh, to open AI uh, API and then continue uh, into our flow. And yeah, here's the final result. Thank you for your interest. Thank you for your interest in Piano Ultimate course. What's your name? Baptiste. Great, nice to meet you, Baptiste. What's the best email we can reach you at? Uh, me, uh, Baptiste at uh, email.com, never mind. Then the first question, how many years have you been playing the piano? So I can say maybe three years. And then we'll have a new um, OpenAI completion. So what motivated you to start playing piano in the first place? Um, I love jazz music. Then we'll have another completion. We, we, we just want to dig into the user uh, piano experience, right? So have you taken any lesson or are you, you self-taught? Uh, I've taken lessons uh, with a professor for maybe uh, one year. Then what type of music do you like to play on the piano besides jazz? And that's where it's so powerful is that it can remember what you've uh, told him. So I've told him I like jazz music and he's just saying to me, okay, besides jazz, what, what, what else do you like? And that's what's so powerful. Uh, you can just dig into a, a topic and, you know, it, it's, so, it, it's, it's like I'm talking to a human and that's very powerful. So I can say um, blues. And then b because he's asked for a four question, we triggered this condition and we just finished the flow uh, with the buy block. So perfect. Thank you uh, for, for all this information. There's a typo here. Um, we'll get back to you at batsis.email.com.
And that's, I don't know, that's so powerful. Um, if you want to dig more into a specific topic uh, for your uh, uh, form, uh, you can have this kind of powerful group here uh, with this uh, infinite loop that can be that can be exited with a condition. I hope that makes sense. Uh, let me know if you have any question, and maybe this kind of uh, but. Uh, will uh, be available as a template. I'm just thinking about the best uh, uh, form here. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching and catch you guys in the next one.